Hi there and welcome to a new video from our channel Solar Energy. Today let's see about battery testing. If you have some old batteries at home that you want to test the capacity but don't wish to buy an expensive battery tester then this video is for you. Stay on to find out how to make a cheap battery tester at home using simple equipment like a multimeter and a light bulb. I have a few nickel metal hydride batteries which were taken from old hybrid cars. This I bought over from a vehicle repair shop for my off-grid home solar system. So let's see how I got about with my solar battery tester. Here is the hybrid battery pack that I am going to test. Before we begin the battery testing, we should make sure that all the battery voltages have been equalized. So what we do is we connect the batteries together and let it to settle for about 1 or 2 days. So as you can see, in this 20 module hybrid battery pack, I have divided it into two groups and joined both the sets in series. I have kept this connected for more than 24 hours so as to equalize the charge in all the hybrid battery modules. So before we can test each battery, let's see the entire pack's voltage with my multimeter. Here it is showing at 14.3 volts. Therefore, divided by 2, roughly each battery module has 7.2 volts after stabilization. So first, let's separate the modules and start testing them one by one. So let's get on with the battery testing. For my battery tester, I am using a multimeter to measure the voltage across the battery while I drain the battery by this load. For the load, I am using a 3 amp headlight lamp. So let's see how the battery testing is done. Let's first number them up. Here, I am going to join my multimeter with the bulb so as to measure the voltage across the hybrid battery modules as they power the bulb. This is the same principle as a commercial battery tester. In these nickel metal hydride batteries, we can consider the voltage proportional to the capacity of the battery. So let's take this apart. You have to be careful not to electrocute yourself while doing so. Once I removed all of the battery's connections, I can start testing each of these hybrid batteries separately. So let's look at how these battery modules are made. Each of these modules has six cells. Each cell has a voltage of 1.2 volts. So a brand new hybrid battery module should have a voltage of 8.4 volts. But as I previously mentioned, these are used cells. So I need to test each of their battery capacity so I can separate the good cells from the bad because if I join the batteries with a poor capacity with the ones that have a good capacity this will compromise the entire battery bank's storage capacity this here is the voltage curve of these hybrid battery modules how the voltage changes with time. Initially starting at 8.4 volts, as time goes on, the voltage starts to drop. As you can see, there is a sharp drop in the voltage after 6 volts. This is the point, the limit of which the battery's capacity is basically useless. So let's see how to check the battery modules that I have. 
I will start by writing down the starting voltage. Thereafter, the voltage across the load as it works for 60 seconds. As I have almost 200 battery cells to test, I am not going to test it for a long time. So I am going to check each battery module for only 60 seconds. But in an ideal setup, I should reconnect all the batteries, again charge it and let it equalize and thereafter test again. After doing this repeatedly for about 4 or 5 times, I can get the actual capacity of each of these batteries. Here I am testing only for 60 seconds. So in my next video, I'll show you how I measured and tested all the hybrid battery modules that I have, all 220 of them. If you like that video, please hit the like button, subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you.